Hello guys, I'm Stop Motion Genius. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to... Is that my voice? Why is my voice slow suddenly? Why is this... So, oh, okay, there we go. Yes, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's get to our tutorial. I don't know why that happened. Sup guys, I'm Stop Motion Genius. Yeah, like I said three seconds ago. And uh, today, I'm actually going to be doing a little mini tutorial. This is the first uh, tutorial I will be doing of a uh, mini tutorial. Yeah, and so, as you saw in that little three second clip, it is me uh, with a pitch shift with me having my voice going high and going low, which is what we're going to be doing today. And so, yeah, it's pretty easy. So what I did for my video is that I split the video because I needed to add the pitch shift in certain parts because I had it normal at the first part, then it was normal at the end, and it was high in the middle, then it was low in, like, the second of part of the middle area. But, um, so today I'm just getting, going to do that, but you don't have to if you don't want to, if you just want the pitch shift to be all regular. But in case you do, I'm just going to do it with the way of splitting. So I'm just press, I'm just going to press S and split the videos where the part I start being like, uh, what's happening to my voice or whatever. So sorry, bear with me that the audio is kind of hard to hear, but I'll do the best I can. As you see right there, it's, um, I start questioning my voice, and so, so we'll find, let's go back, that's perfect, so we're gonna press S right there, which is gonna split the video, then we're gonna find until I'm like, why, why is my voice suddenly deeper, or something? So, I think we're going to we'll split it right before I say voice, which is going to uh, split split the thing. And then we'll go here and Tom, like, and then I was making the S noise. And so, yeah, that's just the split. So, the next part is what we're going to be doing for the pitch shift. So, right here, we're going to keep it normal because this is the part where my voice seems to be weird. So, we're going to right-click on the audio layer. And then we're going to press audio event FX and it's going to bring up this thing. And we're going to go down here where it says pitch shift and then we're going to press, you just need to press it once and then press OK. It's going to bring up this little video and as you see there's semitones and sense. We're only messing with semitones today. But what we're going to press is preserve duration and go all the way here, down here to AO9 speech 3 fast. The reason why we're doing this is because if you didn't do that and you pushed the semitones up to make your voice fast, the audio wouldn't match your lips because it would just go uh, way fast or whatever and it's just kind of hard to... Uh, it's just kind of hard to mess around with it. And so when you press preserve duration, the audio kind of uh, aligns with your lips. And so it doesn't just go speeding off, leaving your lips like it's like not aligned. So we're going to go over here. And the first time my voice goes high. So we're going to go to the semitones and drag it to, I mean, I left it at five last time. And you can do whatever. I feel like that's just a reasonable amount to do. So we're going to X out that window. And if we play it. And as you see here, the voice, it's, it's a pitch shift, but because it's going back to my regular, but we're not having my regular. So let's right click again, and then go to audio event FX, and we're going to go back down to pitch shift. Okay, it's going to bring up that same window from last time. So as before, we're going to click preserve duration and AO9 speech 3 fast. Then we're going to go to the semitones, except this time we're going to bring it down because we want my voice to be lower. I left it at negative 8 last time. You don't need to. This is just where I left it. And yeah, mess around with this. This is optional. So I'm going to close this window and it's going to have a significant like um, tone difference. And so if we watch it... Yeah, let's get to our tutorial. I don't know why that happened. 
yeah and so that is your final product and yeah thank you for watching and hopefully this was helpful to you and uh make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if what i should do next for my next mini tutorial or just a regular effects tutorial